All right, it's time for your lunch break. Produce man Michael Marks is here with your deal on apples, asparagus, and artichokes, the three A's. Yeah, before we get to the two guys of spring, let's talk about apples, because I was very excited when I saw these apples on, on ad this week, $1.48 to $1.97 a pound. This is a cosmic crisp. They call it a cosmic crisp because dark red background color, and look at those all those little white lenticels on them. That's the lungs of the apple. Those white lenticels look like stars in the cosmics, so they call it a cosmic crisp. This is the son of a honey crisp. That's also on ad, $1.48 to $1.97. One of the brightest apples that we have today. And then, of course, one of my favorite, the opal apple. This is one of the few apples we have from the Czech Republic and Western Europe. But all of these, man, they're fantastic. $1.48 to $1.97 a pound, that's a great deal. So let's talk about our two guys. The first guy is Artie. You know Artie, Artie Choke. Yeah, uh, these are $1.97 to $2.50 each. Look how huge they are. This is what we call a jumbo artichoke, and indeed they are. Now, when you're picking out the best artichoke, I want you to think of three things. I want you to think of a very fat stem. The fatter the stem, the larger the heart inside. So big old fat stem. Number two, when you lift it up, really heavy for its size. When it's heavy for its size, that means there's a lot of meat on the leaves, which is what you're looking for, right? And number three, give it a quick little squeeze. Yeah, do you hear that little squeak? Yeah, when it squeaks, that means it's, it's, uh, it's very fresh. And finally, let's talk about Gus. Yes, asparagus, another thing of spring. $1.88 to $1.99 a pound, fantastic. I like the big old thick ones, the ones that are as big as my thumb. But this is what was on ad for $1.88. Beautiful asparagus. Look at the purple tips up top. That tells me that these grew in cool temperatures, which means very, very sweet asparagus spears. Uh, how do you store them? Yeah, get a, get a pitcher, put a little water in there. Cut off the bottom, put them in there, put that in the refrigerator. They'll last forever. Well, not forever, but a long, long time. Hey, back to you guys. A long, long time is better than what time I'm probably keeping them alive for. So thanks for that <laughs> tip.